we're focusing particularly on five key areas, deteriorating patient, medicines management, safeguarding, documentation and handover. Our audit results are now showing that things are improving, far more staff trained in deteriorating patients, we're seeing great improvements in the documentation. It feels like a much more engaged, happy place to work and I think it's exciting for the future now because we can still continue to make real positive steps and get ourselves to good or outstanding. We've spent a lot of time on the wards um, engaging with the staff and talking about safety. So having those conversations about incidents and um, risks that could cause harm to patients helps us create a safety culture and I've seen the difference in the staff. They're now thinking safety every single day. We looked into the WHO checklist and um, we found that there were parts of the WHO checklist which we could improve a lot, others which we just had to tweak and the surgeons and anaesthetists that were involved in that, there's been literally an overnight um, change in attitudes and behaviours which is fantastic to see. We've gone through a process of improving safety around end of life care in the organisation, looking at how we prescribe and monitor medications for end of life patients. We are seeing a positive impact on our patients' experience and their outcomes within the organisation and people that are important to the patient. We've seen a big reduction in the use of restraint or restrictive practices within Seven Acres. Um, we've also noticed there's a big um, increase in relation to staff accessing training and I have to be honest I've been overwhelmed by the response of the staff being involved with the project and we're just pleased to see a good target in relation to patient safety within mental health. We've improved our serious incident process and one of the really big things of that is ensuring that the patient is involved in the journey so they understand what we're investigating and why and how it might have affected their care and that we learn from our mistakes in order to make sure that these things don't happen again. Uh, we've had some real advances recently in improving our service. Uh, the main difference for me is the support structures that are around me now. We don't feel quite so isolated as an ambulance service. We genuinely feel a lot more integrated into the trust. Uh, we're not trying to do our own little thing, we're all doing it together, which is good for everybody. I've seen a change, especially in this hospital, following recent meetings we have had with teams. It is now more focused and people are doing it with more enthusiasm and I think this protects our patients. The whole team has been you know, working with this and wanting to get it right. And I think that's the thing I've most noticed, is people do want to come into work and get it right for our patients. Um, so that's, that's really meant something to me. It's great to get the energy from the team, it's great to know they're engaged. We need them to come up with the changes, them to do the actions and them to own the improvement. And that's what these guys have done. It's really, really impressive and I'm incredibly proud of the work they've done. I think we've made huge, huge steps and the feedback we're starting to get from families and patients now is thank you. Thank you for involving us and thank you for making it better. And that makes my job really worthwhile.